Well, welcome everyone to today's webinar, um, How to Implement Virtual Reality in the Welding Classroom. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. My name is Emily, and I will be your moderator today. I am here with Jamie McIntosh, who is RealityWorks Product Marketing Manager for our Welding and Trade Skills products. And I'm here with Dan Lyon, a seasoned agriculture instructor from Harlan, Iowa. As you can see, Jamie is, um, as well as being our product marketing manager, he is also a former educator who has taught in Colorado and Wisconsin. He is a member of NAAE, the American Welding Society, and presents often on welding and trade skill development and experiential learning. Dan is a seasoned educator from Harlan, Iowa. He has taught agriculture at the high school level for 33 years and has been a member of NAAE, NACTE, Iowa Acting, and the NEA, excuse me, for even longer. He was also named the Iowa CTE Teacher of the Year in 1992, and he holds an honorary Iowa and American FFA degree. He also happens to be the current mayor of Denison, Iowa. Before we begin today's presentation, I'm just going to quickly review a few brief housekeeping items. Uh, first of all, today's presentation will be recorded, and all attendees will receive a copy of the recording and a certificate of completion for attending today's webinar. Finally, if you have any questions throughout today's presentation, please don't hesitate to contact us either by phone 1-800-830-1416 or via email at information at realityworks.com. With that, I'll go ahead and turn the presentation over to Jamie. Thank you so much, Emily. Uh, really glad to have you here with us today. Um, and what we are talking about is implementation of these different um, uh, welding solutions. And so just want to start out with our welding solutions here and just give you an overview of all the different products we have before we start getting in and really deep diving into each one of them and asking Dan here some of our questions. So the first one here we have is our GuideWeld VR. Our GuideWeld VR is virtual reality welding simulation. In this case, it comes in both stick and MIG, and it's a great training opportunity for your students to really get an understanding of quality welding instruction and, and also technique before they actually go into the, the shop and do any type of, of welding. The next one we have here is our GuideWeld Live product. Our GuideWeld Live product is an um, actual in the helmet guidance system. So it's an actual welding helmet, auto darkening helmet. You bring it into your welding booth and you do real welds, live welds uh, with your MIG or stick machine and inside of the helmet it's going to tell you if you're going too fast, too slow, it's going to tell you your work angle, travel angle. Then we also have on our welding quality training side is our weld defects kit. This kit contains um, 13 different welds that are uh, our model welds, 12 of them being de having defects, one of them is an actual qualified weld by a CWI instructor or CWI um, uh, inspector and then in this case you can also look at each one of these welds and be able to compare and contrast what is the the defect and then also learn what to do in differences in the sense of um, what you did wrong and then how to correct it and so it could be either from your machine settings or it could be from your technique then the last one we have is our bend tester once you're into that quality training and quality um, uh, inspection really looking at um, how are you doing your welds and would it qualify to get a job and really that job creation for your students. So in this case, that bend tester has curriculum that walks the student through how to prepare a weld, how to actually do the weld, and then how to bend and actually test your, um, uh, your weld to see would you pass a guided bend test. So really want to talk about the invitation into your training environment and we're going to kind of just do an overview here looking at the different areas for um, that implementation. What we have on the screen here is really a look at what we would call a, uh, a typical classroom. Now every school looks a little different, every classroom looks a little different, every shop looks a little different. This is kind of our um, view of an average classroom has your computer lab, um, a great place where you can start with your welding simulation lab, putting your GuideWeld VR welding simulators into the classroom, allowing your students to be right in the classroom, doing the training techniques of proper welding. Now, as they go, both in stick and MIG options here, they can actually do um, what we call a simulated arc time. A lot more welds um, being able to go through over and over, making sure that their muscle memory is correct when they're doing a weld. Then they can either test out going into the shop to be able to do live welds, 
or in some cases, um, this may be that place where they can really hone their skills and then as a class all move together from one type of uh, welding process to another before they get and have a standard of both safety and then also technique, making sure that your students are doing what they need to do. The next piece here then is we have the, in the um, actual welding booth is live welding. Now with this live welding, you use our Guide World Live Real Welding Guidance Helmet to actually have the students be able to know what their welding speed should be, what their work angle should be, what their travel angle should be. And so by doing all these things, they can then be able to really look here and see, okay, am I doing it correctly? What do I need to change to make sure that I'm doing real welds correctly, make sure my technique is right? Every single time, cutting down on waste and, and material costs when they're doing the correct uh, muscle memory and the correct habit of, of welding every single time. Once they get done with those welds, they can get into that uh, visual inspection, going into um, the, the weld defects kit and actually being able to check and see, okay, here's what my weld looks like. Let me compare it to the, the uh, quality weld and let me see, okay, what issues that I might have and then how do I correct it? Is it my welding machine? Is it my technique that I need to continue to change and then find what my issues are and be able to correct those issues. And then finally, your destructive test. When I feel that I'm ready to actually um, do some welds on my own without the welding guidance helmet, without Guide World Live, and then actually go and do some welds and see, okay, destructive testing, how well did I do? Would this pass? Would this get me a job? Is this something that would be acceptable um, for my employer um, or my teacher? Or is it something that, yep, I'm not there and I need to continue to learn those techniques? So some of the fun activities that you can implement right into your classroom are things like class competitions, reviewing how um, you use the reports in the Guide World VR product to actually see, okay, what was your score, and then have students be able to implement those scores and or see those scores and then check, okay, how am I comparing to my classmates? And we've seen that a ton of times is that competition um, can drive students to try to weld better and have better technique, but then at the same time of having fun and interacting, they're also gaining the knowledge and gaining the skills that they need, always trying to compete and be better. And there's a, there's a career skill there that we see as well. There's also that individual competition by being able to see their first weld that they did and get um, reports and grades and how they did, what they're doing right, what they're doing that they need to improve on and then have them continually do those um, welds and you can see how they progressed what they're doing as they go in the sense of okay are they progressing um, are there areas of improvement need to be but then also really kind of motivating themselves to continue to get better to as they um, go into one uh, uh, process from MIG or from stick and then now try the other process, okay, what are the differences and, and what can I take from these things to continue to improve myself? And then um, a lot of that study hours use, those off times in the school day, allowing your students to be able to come in and be able to use Guide World VR, Guide World Live, be able to have some of that feedback, that instructor feedback that they can use then for themselves um, to be able to learn and, and get that immediate feedback for that, that um, learning where if an instructor is there or not there with them, they can continue to learn, continue to try, continue to strive to um, gain knowledge and skill. Um, and then you as instructor can just come back in and, and really help them um, solidify the, the areas that they need. So again, really starting in this virtual world, um, from there, moving into the live welding uh, booth, allowing them to still have that, um, that help as they need, um, and then going into um, really the defect kit and then the uh, bend, bend test area as well. So with that said, um, I want to talk to um, uh, Dan Leinen here for a little bit and kind of discuss some of the things that he has learned um, about uh, um, using these products in his classroom and best practices for him. So. So Dan, it's so good to have you here. Um, you're a teacher from Har Har Harlan, Iowa. Um, you've been an instructor for over 30 years. Um, and one of the things we really want to talk to you today about is just to ask you the question of, you know, what are some of the funding sources that you use with Guidebook VR and how you got it into your classroom and, and how it um, was really um, through different modes to really get what you needed to be able to use with your students? Yeah, um, we, uh, we purchased one guide weld, uh, the VR, with um, Perkins money. Mm -hmm. 
and I was able to do that, but uh, having used it uh, earlier, uh, I wanted one for every corner of my classroom. That way I could spread the kids out, um, didn't have the money for, for four. So uh, what we did is we took the one, we put it uh, in the newspaper, front page, we got a nice story about Harlan uh, Ag Classes, entered 21st century, and uh, we had a big deal with that. Um, I was going to end up purchasing a second one uh, with funds from our FFA group. Um, and we had mentioned that in the article. And during that phase, uh, we had a couple of local businesses come forward. Uh, one of them said, can, I, can we see this? And he happened to be a welder. And he looked at it and he says, well, he said, I, I don't want you uh, to have to buy one with FFA. He says, I'll, I'll just buy one because it, it's that important to me in my business. That's great. Um, and he challenged a second welder in our community to do the same. He came up, took a look at it, and said, yeah, Joe knows what he's talking about. He says, I'll buy you one as well. So now we had three. And my goal was to have four. Uh, this is great because I'll use the FFA to buy that fourth one. A gentleman from Production Credit System came up and said, you know what? He said, I saw that. Uh, he said, I do not believe he was a former FFA member. He says, I do not believe that we should use FFA funds for ag classes, if, if at all possible. He said, so we'll buy you that fourth one. Mm -hmm. So we ended up with uh, four of them and put one in each corner of the classroom, and uh, it's been a tremendous investment. So really, through things like, I mean, you have your own funds that you can use. Yes. Um, but also promoting your, your classroom and you know, having the paper, having the community see you use it, yes. um, then brought interest to it. But then there's also things like the, you know, you talk about it, your own organizations that you can work with in that sense and, and uh, partners with your organizations. And then you also have business partners. Yes, absolutely. We, we, have, are be using we have a list of businesses that uh, if they see that we have a need, they want us to come contact them, and we've developed a really good relationship with business partners that will help fund our program. And that's one thing I, I know you've told me, and, and is very interesting, is is that you've actually done kind of had your students do a project where get to know the community uh, businesses, and you actually kind of did questionnaires of what is your business, how does it pertain to um, the classes that you're teaching, right? And then hey would you ever be willing to um, help us if there was a monetary need? Yes, kind of thing? And, and we did We did that. We had each uh, business in our community profile, and not only did we ask for the, the ag program, but we asked if they had any interest. Some of them strictly were elementary, but all of the elementary teachers did not know that prior to that. So uh, we developed a healthy network within our business community as to how they would help our school district. So that's just another way to say, hey, we're partnering with you by getting the welders that you need, by getting the, um, the, the, the really the labor force that you need. Right. What can you do to try to help us? And, and they may not even know what your needs are right. without asking. Without them. asking. Them. Absolutely. Now, another question that I have for you is, okay, so you were able to get that funding. Um, what what were some of the benefits by using uh, Guidewell VR that you saw in your classroom um, and how you used it with your, your students? Well, we have, uh, in our sophomore year is when we, we dive into the welding. But I, I used the four VRs in an introductory uh, class for seventh graders. And it was just an exploratory. And when we got into ag mechanics, I'd say, okay, we're going to do some welding. They came in, we, we welded each one corner and for them it was more of a competition than a learning experience mm -hmm. however they did learn mm -hmm. and usually at the end of that class period can we do this for real tomorrow mm -hmm. well you need to wait and do that when you are in ag and that's okay. sophomore year so start when you're a freshman and work into it in two years my enrollment doubled okay. and I, I strongly think that that was probably one of the biggest reasons because a lot of those kids saw the technologies that we were using and enrolled in the class. And we've heard that over and over again where kids, you say, well, you know, what do you want your career path to be? What do you want? Well, I don't know. And exactly. they don't even know what's out there, but through that exploratory, you know, it's kind of too where you give them something and you take it away from right. them. Right. You say, here's a taste of it, but once you're in high school, that's where you'll really dig dive in deeper yes. and be able to see. Okay. It worked well for us. And, and even that, like you said, you know, that's one of the things too with some schools as um, numbers dwindle and it can cut programs or things like that. You actually saw yours double 
um, by using this kind of interaction with students, the engagement. Um, uh, tell us about some of the competition features with your students and what they saw um, and how they used it once they were kind of um, uh, got used to it. Once we got into it, uh, a lot of the kids, so you usually had 24 to a classroom setting. Okay, yeah. And so I'd have but usually about six per corner. Okay. And as soon as one got done welding, they would check their score, see how it, how it come out. And the next one, immediately, I can do better than that. Hmm. And so that became a, a roundabout competition. But as it did, they were getting better and better and better. Hmm. And uh, then we used that uh, in our sophomore when we did actual welding, we do stick and, and wire welding. At the time, this was only the wire welding that we were using. And it was the same way. But what I saw was that the kids were getting prepared to go into the shop a lot faster. And the nice part of it was we were using a lot less wire, metal, and, and our expendables that we had, were having to throw away, mm -hmm. that we had to purchase to yeah. throw away, uh, we, we cut our expenses a great deal, which then left more money in my, mm -hmm. my balance that I could use for a budget. So in that case, yeah, you, you were cutting that cost, and then you had that money to say, what else do I need, or what else Ex do I want exactly. to get? Exactly. We could buy a few different things. Yep. All right. The well, last kind of thing I just want to say, too, is, you know, one of the things that I know you've talked about is how it not only that brings engagement, but um, even some of, um, if you want to say, some of those fringe uh, students who may not have been so interested or maybe even scared of welding, that that helped kind of bridge a gap. Can you just talk about that kind of thing? It did. Um, a lot of those kids, you know, especially the seventh graders, when I mentioned mm -hmm. we were going to do some welding, they were scared to death. Mm -hmm. And when they found out they were doing it in the virtual weld, it's kind of their wheelhouse. Yeah. And they weren't scared of it at all. And when they found out that's all it was, they wanted to get in the shop right away. Mm -hmm. um, and another huge advantage was uh, special ed students. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to worry so much about getting them as prepared mm -hmm. or, or how much danger they would pose to themselves or classmates um, in the shop because I knew that I did not move them in the shop until they were competent on the virtual welder. And so that helped a lot, especially uh, – like I said, especially those special ed kids. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of those things that we really see and, and have seen story and time after time from instructors who use our products really have found that not only are they engaging um, and, and they can be useful in a sense, but they can save money, they can save time, and it really does give you an opening to enlarge your classrooms, get more students active in your classrooms, um, and really be able to engage more and learn more as the year goes on through these types of tools. So I want to say thank you, Dan, for taking this time um, with us, and thank you for um, really uh, being here to, to listen to our conversation with Dan um, as uh, we want to continue to help you bring different opportunities to your students through our products. And so in this case here, we really thank you for Dan for kind of sharing that stuff for us. And, and one of the things that, like he just said, is that this training successes, everything from middle school to high school to tech colleges is that we see it happening. For the middle school, a lot of times it's exploratory. It's getting those students to understand um, what welding is. It's getting them to learn for the first time proper welding technique and, and what that can do for their welding ability. And then it's moving into those high schools and allowing those students to um, really gain access to um, new technology that helps them really become proficient in welding um, and then also saves a lot of money, as, as Dan just said, in, in the schools. And then um, even at tech colleges, we're seeing them using it um, as, as new more and more people are coming into this world and maybe don't have a background in, in welding. Um, and so really getting them up to speed and, and working with them um, in that world. So that training success is very important um, to get them on the right footing uh, to become successful in the world of welding. Um, so again, just want to talk through, again, we really look at it as starting with that GuideWeld VR in the simulate world, going into the GuideWeld Live world of replicate, and then the evaluate, really using that bend test and that weld uh, defect kit for um, that help. Now, with that, I want to just give you a few options here as we kind of end our time here. I um, want to give you options that you can actually go ahead and use um, to really start getting some more understanding of that welding implementation. And so what we have created is a welding impl implementation guide. Now, you can go right to our website here, um, and our website is realityworks.com. 
And when you get right to our website here, it will give you all of our products that you um, have been, we've talked about, and so you can go there and look at those. But at the same time, at the very top here, we have um, an implementation guide. Um, in this case, a glimpse in a 21st century welding uh, classroom. And so all you need to do when you get to our website here, realworks.com once again, is go and click on this uh, learn more icon or button here. And when you click on the learn more, it will bring you right into this welding solutions implementation guide. The great features that we have for you here is giving you an overview of all of our different products and how they can be used in the classroom. Now, the, the nice thing about it is we give you downloadables, free downloadables, where all you have to do is click on the icon here, the, the uh, um, icon here, or the, the full guide, and you can walk through and I'll step you through some different uh, best practices to use the um, uh, welding, like Dan just said. Um, it will talk you through, uh, depending on the number of classrooms and, and students in your classroom have, what's the best amounts that you may uh, want to have in your classroom. It then also will give you um, kind of some uh, best practices that we found in that implementation guide. Another great feature here that we have as well is we also have a, a case study giving a walkthrough of how current teachers are using it. One of the things a lot of times is, um, okay, how are other schools and other people using it? And so we actually have a case study showing the demand for skilled workers as well as how they're using these products as a key um, piece of getting those uh, 21st century students into the workforce. And so that's there for you. So that's a, a great little add on value here. All you need to do is go to our website, again, realityworks.com, and it gives you everything we've talked about here today and gives you some of those great features there. And you can download that and print that off, take those, that case study, give that to your administration, talk to your teachers about it, really figure out ways, hey, what's the best way that we can teach? What's the best way to engage our students? We really want to help you with that work. Now, another thing that we want to talk about is just something that we're really excited here in 2017 that we've, we've uh, brought out here uh, is the GuideWell promo. And so just another place that you can go is if you click on realityworks.com, we have the free welder promo here. And what that is, is really just trying to get the products into your school. But one of the things as a company, one of the things that we really feel is that by getting the, our products is we think you will seek success from your welders. But we also know that budgets are tight and materials are tight. So how can we help get best tools into your classroom? Not just our tools, but best welding tools as well. So if you click on this welding, uh, free welding promo here, um, the learn more uh, button, it actually brings you in. And what we have here is you receive a free Tweeko uh, welder that does both MIG and stick and, and TIG um, if you purchase a combination of five of our uh, products, either um, the combination can be GuideWeld VRs and GuideWeld Live units. It can be all GuideWeld VR, all GuideWeld Live, or it could be a mix and match as long as it is uh, five or more. We will then have a welder sent to your school um, to you for your, your uh, shop. So giving you not only the tools on best practices and, and really getting you to understand how to train correctly and the best ways for your students to train correctly, we want to promote welding in your shop, we want to give you a brand new welder that then those students can be using along with um, the training tools that we, we have. And so in that case, really giving you your, your school kind of a, um, if you want to say a shot in the arm or a little help to really engage your students, really give them the best that they can be so then they can then get the best career opportunities in the welding workforce or in any other job that they, they really choose. So all you have to do in this case, is down to the bottom, it says request a free quote. You click on that, you then will um, be uh, brought right to a representative that is in your um, area, in your region, and then they will help you get that quote and, and get you started on the path of getting these type of products that can really help in your classroom.